Are you a little confused with the exact definition of thread terms such as pitch diameter, lead angle, or thread depth? No worries, you're not alone. Also, many other folks in the industry are a bit confused. Hi there, Erez here, and welcome to another episode of the Machining Doctor Classroom. In this episode, we will provide a simple explanation of the following threading terms, pitch diameter, major diameter, minor diameter, pitch, lead, lead angle, length of engagement, crest, root, thread height, overwire, and allowance. So without further ado, let's join Eric in the classroom and start the lesson. Thank you, Erez. Hello, everybody. Let's start going over those threading terms, one by one. The pitch diameter, also called the effective diameter, is the diameter of an imaginary cylinder that intersects the thread, so that the distance between two intersection points at opposite flanks equals half of the pitch. It is where the male and female threads meet. The allowance between the pitch diameters of two thread components determines the behavior of the assembly. Keep in mind that this definition is valid only for parallel threads. In a later episode, we will deal with the definitions related to tapered screw threads. Major diameter is the diameter of an imaginary cylinder that touches the largest diameter of a thread. The nominal value of the major diameter equals the nominal thread size. For example, in a UNC quarter inch thread, the nominal major diameter is a quarter of an inch, 6.35 millimeters. In external threads, the major diameter is measured on the crest, and it is a critical dimension to control since it influences whether the screw would fit on a bolt. In internal threads, the major diameter is measured on the root. It is not a critical dimension and must only be larger than the nominal thread diameter. The minor diameter is the diameter of an imaginary cylinder that touches the smallest diameter of a thread. In external threads, it is measured on the root. It is not a critical dimension and only has a maximum limit to ensure that the root is relieved. In internal threads, it is measured on the crest, and it is a critical dimension that affects whether a bolt fits on a screw. Sorry to interrupt. Just a quick tip. This video is a general overview. On the Machining Doctor website, we have a dedicated page for each thread standard that dwells deep into its teeny tiny details. I will share the links to those pages in the description. Please support us by liking, following, and subscribing so you don't miss our next technical videos. And now, back to Eric in the classroom. A pitch is the axial distance between adjacent repeating features on a mechanical element, such as a gear, a milling cutter, or a thread. A fine pitch screw will have more dense threads compared to a coarse pitch screw. In inch threads, the pitch is often provided in TPI, tooth per inch. In this unit, the pitch is given as the count of threads over a distance of one inch. The lead is the linear distance the thread travels due to a full 360 degree rotation. The lead equals the pitch in the typical standard case of a single start thread. In multi start threads, the lead equals the pitch times the number of starts. The lead angle is the angle between the helix and a plane perpendicular to the screw's axis. Simply put, it is the proportion between the screw's lead and its diameter. When machining a thread, the best practice is to tilt the cutting edge by the lead angle size. It ensures symmetrical relief on both sides of the cut. The root and crest are flat or rounded surfaces, connecting the flanks of a thread profile. The width depends on the amount of tip truncation, which is defined by the specific thread standard. 
The thread height, also called thread depth, is the distance between the crest and the root. It is a reference dimension without a tolerance. It is the result of the crest and root truncations, which are usually controlled by a tolerance. Thread allowance is the distance, in maximum material condition, between the nominal diameter and the crest of an external thread. It serves as an indication of how tight or loose the thread is. Overwire is a nickname for a measuring method of the pitch diameter. A wire with a known and precise diameter is placed between the thread and the jaw of a micrometer. The measurement of the diameter over the wire is used in a formula to calculate the pitch diameter. The formula is different depending on the geometry of the thread profile. The length of engagement is the axial distance of the full threads that are in contact in a thread assembly. It is usually measured in multiples of the pitch. For example, 5p means a length of engagement of 5 times the pitch. As it gets longer, the tolerances of a thread need to be tightened to maintain proper thread assembly. Most threading standards are valid only up to a maximum length of engagement, and beyond that, special calculations need to be applied. Now, let's go back to Arez for a brief summary. Thank you, Eric, and thank you all for watching. I hope the threading terminology is now clearer. Do you have any questions? If so, please comment below. I read and respond to every comment. Bye.